Hey there, it's Miley from Cloud App. I just showed you how to set up a Facebook account and now I'm going to show you how to customize your Facebook account. So you can either, um, for your profile picture, you can either add a picture that is already existing or you can take a photo with your webcam, whichever you prefer. I already have one that I want to use, so I'm going to click add picture. And then um, on our desktop, we're going to use this picture. Um, this is of my cat. Uh, you can do a profile picture of whatever you want. Typic typically people will do images that um, show their face, that way their friends can find them. Uh, but for the purposes of this um, demonstration, I'm just going to show you um, with this. So uh, we can edit it here. You can add a description. You can say who you were with if you want to tag someone. Um, or you can say where the photo was taken um, and you can set the privacy settings which I'll show you how to do in a little bit but you can um, only have friends see it um, or not even some of your friends but we'll go over that in a second um, but if you want the picture to show up a little bit differently as your profile picture I'll show you how to do that um, in a second um, but for now uh, we're going to now find people we know. Um, for this, I'm uh, I'm not going to type in a specific name, but if there's someone that you want to connect with, whether it be a family member or a friend, um, just type in their name and it'll give you some options. Um, I'll I'll just do a, a random name and let's search for that. So you can see if it's a page, I can go ahead and like that. Um, you can also search if there's a specific person that you want to add as a friend. There's a bunch of Chuck E. Cheese profiles, but you can find based on the profile picture or even um, you can see here they work at this place. Um, you can kind of narrow it down that way to make sure you're adding the right person. Um, so there's that. Um, and there's also, uh, we'll go into the settings. Okay, so you can see, you can edit your username. Uh, this won't matter too much, um, but you're, you can update that if you want. Um, you can update your contact information, um, and then I'll show you under privacy. So who can see your posts? Friends. So that means if you add a friend, or if a friend adds you and you accept them, um, that's who will see all of your posts. Um, you can also view your activity log to make sure um, what you're tagged in and you can untag yourself from pictures if needed um, but you can also limit posts from the past um, but then you can update your settings if you want everyone to be able to send you a friend request regardless of if you have friends in common with them then you can do that or you can do friends of friends which means if you're already friends with someone anyone who's friends with them can add you as well but you don't have to accept them either way um, then you can also see your friend list and who can see that. So um, you can make it more private or only you can see your friend list, whatever you want that setting to be. You can look up um, who can look you up by the email address. Again, if you want that only you or friends, just make sure to update those settings and this is in privacy. Um, you can also see who can look you up using your phone number and if you want search engines such as Google to be able to find um, your Facebook profile. Um, this allows search engines to link to your profile. If you want that to be disabled, just unclick that. Uh, this means that friends won't be able to find your profile if they search outside of Facebook. So you can go ahead and turn that off if you want. Um, and you can basically go through, there's a ton of different um, settings, but the privacy are, uh, you know, the most important ones. Um, but you can also, you know, make sure that your password um, can stay up to date here. You can also use two-factor authentication, which means they can, uh, you know, send you a text message to make sure that you're supposed to be logged in um, on a device, or there's other ways that they can um, contact you. So just update that if you, if you need that updated. Um, you can also get alerts if you have um, logins from devices that Facebook doesn't recognize. Um, and you can also have trusted friends send a code and URL to help you log back in. Um, 
and there's also a ton of other ones so feel free to check on that if you want your Facebook profile to be more secure um, and you can also look at um, basically downloading your information activity log um, yeah so this is kind of uh, a ton of different things but the most important ones to check on are the privacy and the security and login um, you can also make sure your location history is off um, and if you want to block specific people from seeing your profile or even searching you at all um, or messages invites events apps pages you can type any of that in if at any point you want to block something um, you can also make sure you know that you're seeing Facebook in whatever language you want so right now it's in English you can even set this I believe to pirate maybe they don't have that feature anymore uh, but if there's other ones that you want oh they have upside down now so um, you can mess around with that um, and then you can also um, check on what notifications you want to get um, so if someone comments on something you you can receive a push um, that would be basically any mobile notifications or on your desktop that will just pop up basically um, you can get text message notifications or emails um, and you can do that for a bunch of different things um, so that's part two of Facebook um, actually I will also show you how to add a cover photo really quickly so um, we're going to click on um, let's see if you already have photos uploaded you'll click select photo or select artwork if not you can upload a photo I'm going to use this picture I took of a rainbow wait for that to upload there you go so you can drag this if you want to see more of the rainbow or more of the ground we're just going to do it right there and we'll click Save Changes and this will show you that you just uploaded a cover photo um, you can delete any of this information if you don't want other people to see it or you can um, edit life event if you need to update that discard post you'll see your friends over here once you've added friends um, and you can also add a short bio here if you want to introduce people um, to yourself um, you can enter a hometown um, and you can also make this that only friends can see or only yourself um, however you want to I'm just going to click I don't have a hometown but you can um, do with that as you want um, what city do you live in? You can see this and say only me. Save. Um, you can put your high school in if you want. You can say what college you went to. You can add an employer if you want. Perfect. So now you can share a status, and I'll show you how to do that in the next post. Um, so that's updated. If you want to update this photo, um, you can also add frames around it. So if you wanted, they, Facebook offers some. Um, so let's do... this one. You can edit it and we're going to change picture and you can choose to switch it back to your regular profile picture or you could say that you never want it switched back and then you're going to use as profile picture saved so we're just going to click OK. Um, if you need to update your cover photo um, you can reposition it um, and you can save those changes if you want. You can also um, choose a new one or select artwork. Um, Google, Facebook has some artwork already put in here so if you want you can change it 
Again, move that around um, and then save changes. And that's how you customize your Facebook profile. Next, I will show you how to um, create a post and how to upload photos or videos.